Hello everybody, Walters954 here coming at you guys with some more Python coding bat practices. So for this one, all you got to do is multiply the string by however much n is. Python is weird, you can do string multiplications, nothing that I guess we haven't really seen before. So uh, that's for that one. For the next one, all we're going to have to do is take the first three. So we're going to be slicing these up again. Take the first three characters in the string and then multiply it by however much n is, is what, whatever is being passed in. So um, these warmups were supposed to be more for for loops, but I ended up being able to do all of this with slicing. So. Slicing is pretty new to me, I guess, and kind of convenient. So it's actually pretty cool to be able to use these, um, that technique, I guess, in, uh, I guess, just in the sense of like seeing wherever I can do it in like production, where I can skip a for loop and, or on a project that I'm using, skip a for loop and then use some type of slicing. So, um, like I said, the warm-up twos are more for four loops, so we're finally getting into one. And I think I actually failed this one. So I failed this one at first. Um, like, I'm trying my darndest. I can't figure this one out for the life of me. And it's because that I haven't spent a lot of time on the four loops. And if you guys didn't know, I record these at school. Uh, I have, like, a two-hour break, record some of these, and then... Um, do a little voiceover later so that's why you might see me like messing with my uh, Spotify or whatever so slicing was pretty simple but the for loops kind of threw me for a loop I guess you could say because I didn't understand like how they're working there's range and then range X it's not like Java where you like you can strictly say what you start from so in these you have to use range and it starts from whatever the range is that you put in and it'll count up from there so I actually have an idea of how to solve this but I couldn't get it to work properly which was all right I'm going to find the even numbers and only add it for those so if you see the modulus function I should have it should have actually been x mod 2 and then the if statement would run because that's how you know it's an even number but I was thinking about it a different way um, and I just kind of give up because it wasn't working and it's not you know don't feel bad for giving up I just wasn't doing it the right way or I couldn't get the syntax properly because actually in their solution it was pretty close to what I was doing I didn't have a temporary variable results to store and then return so I start working on all of pretty much getting it to be the correct with the solution so right now it's just uh, syntax areas so X needed to be like the if s that I have in there it needs to be the correct variable so just getting all of those fixed but I knew I had or at least I've seen already in Python where you can do incrementations inside the for loop call so I make sure that I can do it this way first and then I went back to learnpython.org where they actually had the incrementations in the for loop so I used that as an example to do it I guess my way or the correct way that I was thinking in the first place which you can see on there I think it was like the second option so I scratched everything because their way was okay but I don't like it at all and there is a difference between range and range x but if you're working in Python uh, 3 and higher range x goes away so it's only range now so don't worry about seeing range x on there just use range from now on all the functions are the same but you can see on here that I actually use um, the different starting points so this is getting it into a little bit more from Java so I wanted to start from the beginning number go to the next to, to the length of it and then increment by two so that's where I get this one from and I get it correct again so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments
Peace.